Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. Our first one is from Tim from Emmaus, Pennsylvania. And he's talking about the question that I actually asked you about how to jumpstart Jubilee in a podcast. And he's wondering if Mike could comment on any connection possibly between the question Peter asked about forgiveness in Matthew eighteen twenty one, And Jesus says about the 77 or 70 times seven, if there's any connection between that language and the language of Leviticus 25. So essentially, forgiveness would be declaring a jubilee over a person, restoring them back to the original state of the relationship, sort of a micro jubilee. Mm -hmm. Well, I think just broadly, I don't don't see any connection between Leviticus 25 and the jubilee language and forgiveness itself. I mean, if you look up the Hebrew verb, for instance, used in Leviticus and elsewhere in the Hebrew Bible for forgive, you know, to forgive, it's salach. In Hebrew, that it never appears in Leviticus 25, so I don't I don't see a connection there. And most scholars would say that what Jesus is referencing is actually pretty clear and pretty specific. Uh, that Jesus would be referencing Genesis 4:24. This is uh, Lamech, you know, the incident where Lamech says, you know, he's going to take revenge on on people. And it, and the, the reason it's significant, the reason why all scholars sort of go there, is because the Hebrew there in Genesis 4.24, why don't I just read it here? It says, if Cain's revenge is sevenfold, then Lamech's is seventy-sevenfold. The Hebrew there is very clearly 77 and not 70 times 7. And the Septuagint, which of course is Greek, has translates that with exactly the same words as we find in Matthew. So there's a pretty clear connection uh, as far as what is being referenced, and it isn't Leviticus 25 uh, or or Jubilee. You know, when you think about it, I mean, the, the rabbis did discuss the, the question of forgiveness broadly, um, and they recommended no more than three times uh, in, in certain rabbinic sources, uh, specifically Yoma 86b and 87a, if anybody has the, the, the Talmud and, you know, can resource that. And so, Peter himself, you know, in Matthew 18 suggests, you know, seven, which is more generous than than the you know rabbinic thinking that that you're going to see discussed in in those kind of sources, but then Jesus sort of you know ups the ante and and does the seventy seven, and that's really the way it should be translated. You know, the, the Greek text there in Matthew should be seventy seven, because it is a mirror image. It's an exact uh, duplicate of Genesis four twenty four, where the Hebrew behind that is is quite clear that it's seventy seven. So you know Jesus is essentially you know looking at this and. And uh, going, going the extra mile, as we like to speak, you know, with he's offering or suggesting, really, I, I wouldn't say it's just a recommendation. I, I think it is something to be taken seriously as though it's a command. But he's saying, you know, we should be unlimited uh, in our forgiveness, kind of exactly the opposite of what we see back here in the Old Testament. So that would have, that passage in Genesis 4.24 would have been familiar, again, to Jewish readers, Jewish hearers. And so I think that's really what's in view. You know, as far as the the Jubilee thing, um, Jubilee, if you go back and look at Leviticus 25, again, it it doesn't refer to forgiveness. Uh, It's about the land having rest. So the the, the forgiveness aspect, you know, it really isn't in there. If it was in there, then, you know, then you might wonder. But since I don't, since it's not in there, I don't really see a connection. 